Celebrate Erie. We are just one day away from the kickoff to the 2023 Celebrate Erie. If you are thinking about heading downtown tomorrow or through the weekend, there are a few things to keep in mind. Our Caleb Yager is joining us with more on tonight. Caleb, security and parking for this event. Of course, you were there live in downtown last night, but you learned a little bit more today about how roads are getting blocked off and people trying to find parking. Yeah, that's right, Eva. Good evening. So I had a chance to speak with the Erie Parking Authority today. Here are a couple things to keep in mind if you're thinking of heading downtown this weekend. First of all, uh, 3rd Street to 10th Street, for the most part, State Street is closed in both of those directions. Uh, you might run into that uh, blockade to at 12th Street. You're going to have to make a turn, which means you're going to have to take some, uh, some kind of diversion. Peach Street, Holland Street, French Street, those are going to be the uh, best ways to navigate your way around town. But with security and parking for the event, months of planning on multiple fronts has taken place. There'll be a massive police presence downtown. This isn't Deputy Chief Rick Laura's first rodeo with planning security measures for Celebrate Erie. We start planning six months ahead of time. It's just another weekend for us. As the tents are being set up, roads being closed and parking meters being covered, the Erie Police Department will be adding uniformed officers on foot and on bikes, along with cameras and other security measures for the weekend. We'll also have undercover officers uh, throughout the crowd uh, all three days. The majority of State Street downtown is blocked off, so make sure to plan ahead for parking and navigation. We're doing a lot of suggestions of people using Peach Street, Holland, or French, those north and south arterials. All parking garages will be open for parking, but there is one in particular that you might want to consider going to. For the first time ever, the parking garage here on East 10th Street is going to be free parking during Celebrate Erie. So that means the first 400 cars will get free parking in this garage on a first come, first serve basis. All the other ones are pay for space um, and they are credit card only. Chris Friday says there's lots of street parking available too if garages get full, even if that means having to walk a little bit more. This is a walkable event. So starting up here near, near 10th or 11th Street, parking up this way will allow you to start here, go through the chalk walk and make your way down to the main stage. Now the complimentary parking for this garage at 25 East 10th Street, that starts at 2 p.m. on Friday and then ends on Sunday night. Live in the studio, Caleb Yager, Erie News Now. Great to have that.